honored to be here to continue this fight. An election year visit to the White House by reality TV star Kim Kardashian, sitting down with Vice President Kamala Harris for a roundtable on criminal justice reform. Is it not the sign of a civil society that we allow people a way to earn their way back? The visit came a day after President Joe Biden pardoned or commuted the sentences of 16 nonviolent drug offenders, four of those who were pardoned, joining the roundtable on Thursday. I think a super important part of it is just telling your stories so that people that are in the position to help can open up their hearts. And this was not Kardashian's first visit to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. In 2018, she sat down with then President Donald Trump, urging him to commute the life sentence of a nonviolent drug offender, Alice Johnson. Kim Kardashian West. And in 2019, she was asked to speak from the White House East Room about a Trump initiative to help former inmates get jobs. But in the years since then, a public rift between Trump and Kardashian has formed. Late last year, Trump posted on social media that she was the world's most overrated celebrity and that she probably voted for crooked Joe Biden. Kardashian has never said who she voted for in 2020. The Biden campaign now hoping to capitalize on her star power as a competitive Biden versus Trump rematch kicks into high gear. In Washington, I'm Evan Kozlov, Spectrum News.